Hello and welcome to the Bag Shop Breakfast Meet. This meet is packed out as always. We've got cars leaving, we've got them turning up still. The car park behind me, this is full as you're going to get. So let's have a walk around and see what's here. So we've had a few cars leave before I started on the walk around here today. Mainly because I had the drone up and we've been chatting with people. But we'll start on the walk around now and get a few of the cars that are here in the video. We got loads down here. Mopar has made it out here. Two bags shot again as well. All going well at the moment. No problems with that. We got a couple of the Mustangs down here. It's been a really busy one today. Weren't expecting it to be as busy as this. We've also got Halloween Spirit coming in. The Pumpkin and the Wiley Coyote there. We got the Chevy C10. And the truck we've seen down a whole load of times. We got pinstriping on the hood. Always good seeing them out. We got Mercury Cougar out here as well. Love these for pop-up headlights or you know revealing headlight type things. We've got Reaper's Car Club down here in the Chrysler 300, I believe this is. We got the 572 Chevy truck. This is mad. And check that out. Yeah, you gotta love that. Sounds mental going down the road, this thing does. Looks real cool. I like it a lot with the big red uh, wheels on it. I just like it a lot. So, it's been a really busy day. The bros haven't been sort of parked as close together as they have been in the past, but it's been busy. So it doesn't take away from it. <laughs> we got the size comparison of the Mini next to the Ram after the automotive are down here. And we also have the whole load of sand that is down here. Bagshot's an active golf course, if you didn't know. If you've never been here before, active golf range. We got Skidlid's custom paint down here as well in the flaming Ford pickup. It's got holographic dollar signs in the paint. As I said, we've got a real variety of cars down here today. You always do a bag shot, you always get something new, something different. Doesn't matter what day it is, whether it's raining or whether it's perfect sunshine, you always get a uni unique mix of cars down here. You got Buick Special and the 70 GTX with passengers that have been on a rather strict diet. But for Mopar Corner here, loving it. We got Hemi Challenger and 440 GTX with big block Chevy truck in the background. One of the Chevy crew, the Apache down here. Again, this is another motor that sounds incredible going down the road. It's got a whole load of cool motors. We got 34 Ford Coupe. We got what is going to be soon because it's coming up Halloween, the Hell Camino down here. And we got the big lifted Ford Transit as well. Love this. Properly off the ground. You can see it's been a little quieter down this end than sometimes. But overall it's been incredibly busy. Lovely red paintwork on the Ford pickup here. Really like the shape of the F100s. Nice white interior as well. And behind where we got another one of the Chevy trucks. Again, all dressed up for Halloween. We will hopefully be having a few Halloween meets coming up soon. So let us begin on the second row down here as we work our way through the car park. We've got this 
almost lime green coloured ranchero here. You've got the 944 Porsche. Now, I did a cool flow video recently, and I got the 944 correct, and I got the 928 wrong, so I'm pretty sure this is the 944. Hey, yes, I am learning my names of cars, slowly, but I am learning. I've got a Volkswagen out next to Michael's Dodge Coronet. Love this thing. You just got to have it, the 60s motors really knew the styling. You got 57 Bel Air out here. Seen them out a lot of places, always gets down the bag shot. Really cool looking car this. Got a little Beetle out here. And I said, we've missed a couple of cars, I had the drone up, so a few people have left as I've been doing my things. But we got the Mustang with the stripes going up the centre. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. I might in the drone footage. We had the Mustang and Reaper's Chrysler 300. They were next to each other, so it looked cool from above, the stripes on both silver cars. We've got a little Zodiac about to roll out. So what I'll do, I'll go up to this road next to the Avenger Tiger, the Hillman. I've seen that out a lot of places. Let's get a little Zodiac in here before they go. The Avenger here, I've seen that quite a few places. We've seen it out Bewley. It's been down here before. That's a cool little car. We've got the SS Camaro as well. I do really love these. I guess, who wouldn't know? One of the most popular muscle cars out there, aren't they? Now, Next to the Chevy here, we have the Nash Metropolitan. Never seen this one before. Was not expecting to see this out today. Would like to talk to the owner as well, because I don't know who's got this. I thought it was one of our mates coming in in their Nash. Same colour combo and pretty much same options as well. But, alas, it wasn't them. I rang them up on the phone and said, has a Nash gone missing out of your front garden? No, it hasn't. But here it is. So you can tell, Backshot's got such a chill vibe, such a chill atmosphere, and also a part of the Chevy truck crew. We got a whole row of the Chevys down here, so let us go around a few of them. And I actually made it quite far around without meeting up with people, but we've just had a stop off and chat with a few people, like I said, the people that make these meats. Now, we have the Mirror Chevy truck. Literal mirror. They, like, this, I think, has got to be the shiniest I've seen it. Always show winner, this. Always looks impeccable. But Chevy truck crew behind me, absolutely. as you can hear, I'm starting up. So, I'll walk around there rather quickly. We've got a lot of Bel Airs out here today. I do love a better. I would love a lot of motors, specifically certain ones, especially Dodge Coronet, something like that. But, you know, money is restricting factor. But we'll get there. We've also got the Roadrunner 383 out here. We've had the, but this seems to me today is a day of B-Body Mopars. But Chevy truck crew out here in force. We've got, Quite a few of them out here today. Good seeing them all out. I'm gonna get a quick photo on the camera while I'm doing this. So one. Yeah, mate, how you doing? Yeah, not bad. Thanks, not bad. So you can see, Chevy truck crew out in force. We got six of them out here today. Well, there's actually more, more than six, but we got six of the trucks out here today. We've had it. Big convoys, we've had 12 of them all out at once. We've had the super convoys to Brooklands and all to Wills Day. Been good times all round. See you later.
we got the voodoo truck which has been getting faster and faster it's recently set a very good time down the pod so there you go there is the chevy crew for you we would have been going down deep cut calf with them but we're here actually later we're going to be leaving and going on the surrey street run a little bit later we got a big convoy out, so hence why we're not rolling with the crew today. But yeah, a little throwback to times before the mopar. So let me go onto the front row here as we did the row behind. Yeah, right, hey, dude. Oh, as you can see, walking through, we got more and more. Things. As we go on to the front row here, we got Triumph Stag out here. We got the matte black Chevy truck with a few of the signboards in the back. You gotta make sure to get one of these. If you like what you see, craftsmanship, these are well worth buying. I got myself a Mopar one myself last month, really worth getting. We got the nice black Rover out here as well. Looks a little lifted, a little higher than a Rover would usually sit. Do like it though. Again, we got another one that's a bit lifted up, big chunky tires for the Chevy C10 there with roll bars in the back. I'm assuming it's roll bars anyway. But yeah, do you see what I mean? That Rover just looks a little bit higher than a Rover should sit. I don't know. It looks very original though, liking it a lot. We've got another one of the Chevy Bel Airs out here. Like I said, it is, well, to be honest, I think this might be the Bel Air day. Instead of B-Body Mopars, we've got Bel Airs everywhere. We've got another one of the Camaros out here as well. So like I said, for Bel Airs, we got one, two that I can see, and I think we had three or four more earlier. Now, I don't know if I've seen this one before. The Bonneville here. Check this out. How is that for a dashboard interior? Check out the design on the seats. Look at the styling, the chrome. Modern motors have just lost that charm that the classics have. Look at the rear lights, everything about this. Loving this a lot, really liking this. Huge rear glass as well. Massive visibility. Imagine the visibility out of this. That's driving along. You can see everything, everywhere. And I thought I had good visibility out of mine. But Bonneville here might be my favourite car of the show today. Really liking that. Don't think I've seen it before, but really liking it. Now, we've got to mention... Chrysler 300, we've got Mark out here today, the man that has made all of this possible. Always goes the extra stretch for us to make all of this happen. Well, let's move on to the couple of final rows over here. Beetle here with the very modern headlights makes it look like a very modern car. The white paint job sitting perfectly on that. <laughs> Got the olive type coloured angler here. Another one of them cars that's had extensive work done to it. Time, love, care, and money put into these. You know, that's what a lot of people do with the classics. They love their cars, 
and it's the community, it's all about everything. There's so many different levels to the car scene. You can see, a few cars have left, but you know, I've been doing this for quite a lot this morning. Got the Riley down here as well, one of the older classics. But we have a whole, whole wide range of cars down here. As I can see, it's gone a little quieter, a few cars have left, but we've still got a couple left at the back here. There is actually the top of the car park I haven't done yet as well. We've got the Cobra sitting here. Now, what have we got here with the big doors on here at the back? Well, this is a monstrous thing. got to try and squeeze through here. We've got the Ford F-150 XL. Things monstrous. We've got a Mazda out as well. Just look at the size of this. That may be the biggest motor here. And we've got three, we've got another F-150 XL. So, how is that? This one's a bit lifted, I think. But they're about the same height. Quite a little combo to have there. I do love the big trucks. There's something about and we have these two out here, right at the back of the car park. There's a proper matching car combo there. Really is. You drive along two on the road. Stage of who? They're a glitch in the Matrix car. <laughs> you see one come around the corner, and then you see the next one. Didn't I just see that car? <laughs> Got the Wolsey out as well. One that we will have seen out quite a few places as well. We have the 426 Hemi Tesla rolling through the car park here. <laughs> Listen to the sound of the V8 roar as I get squished by it. <laughs> But we'll walk our way up to the top here. We'll do one of the police cars that we got down here. I think it's the only police car we have down here today. We've got the Crown Vic with all sirens and lights, laptop. He's even down here in full police gear, looking the part. Cool car. We got the big aerial on the back as well just fits in perfect do like a police car but we'll come back and try and do the couple of cars down there we've only got Gary as far as I know in the Fast X movie challenge down there that we haven't got in from that road that's still currently here but we'll work our way up to the top of the car park so we've got a few on the roundabout I don't know if they've left yet I will have got pictures of them but we'll see what happens. We've got the top part of the car park here. We have our usual motorbike parking here. Got the nice blue Harley there. I don't know my bikes at all. So I'm just going off the badges on these. But I'm liking them. We've got a whole load of the Lambrettas here. This lot all coming in together. This sounded great. All of this lot rolling in. No, no, that's my thought, yeah. We must have seen a lot of these out before. We've done a couple of the meets where we've gone to the big, big runs, just like down at Brighton. There's a huge one down there. We want to get to the one that's out in Isles of White. That gets thousands of them. On the Hemi Challenger here with a 6.1 supercharged. We've got some little toy cars here. Even what year is that? We've got satellite, little roadrunner there. I'm liking that a lot. So, what we'll do, we'll head our way up to the top here. A few of the cars that I was going to film have gone. I've got photos of them since the uh, I think it's the Ford pickup there was up here. Might have been the Chevy, I can't remember. 
There was the Dodge Coronet 500, blue with the black stripes or white stripes going up the centre. Real nice car. Again, same I didn't get that in. But, you know, we've been doing our best walking around here. I can't see too much more up here. So what we'll do, i just got to make sure I don't get squished by cars moving around. But we're about to finish this up. We've got DGP Media here as well. I've got to get the Rover in over here. And I think that'll probably finish us off today. So let's spin this round. No, I'm not a Rover. I'm. I thought it was a Jaguar earlier, but I think it said Lambretta on the front. I'm not certain what this one is. When I've seen it coming in, you can just tell it looks like a rare one. Well, let's do a bit of research on that later. That's cool, I'm liking it. Got another one we haven't seen out here before, or I haven't seen anyway. We've got Nick down here filming. Been filming all morning long. Make sure to check Nick's channel out. He always does quality content covers just as many shows as me probably if not more he's a legend and been doing it for well forever us to the close of the video i hope you have enjoyed let's quickly get a bit of down in. what you thought of it today darren started off gray overcast but oh my god once that sun come out it, it has got up. a lot brighter hasn't yeah. it it's busy it's really oh, well really busy, really yeah. busy for us i, I had the drone up and it's like yeah that's packed i can't wait to see that oh yeah you know, we'll have it's it just mad today if you wasn't here you've missed out 100 you know get so. down here we always say it. it's the best breakfast meat there is in the country no, definitely it is by far we don't have breakfast here we go off and have breakfast. normally like 100 different places we don't normally get home till midnight but, but, but that's well, a different matter but we're off somewhere else <laughs> we, we are off somewhere else we're off to a secret location which we may have an idea where that secret location is but we can't say it but last time yeah. i've done a secret location i have to pixelize every car because it was secret secret Ah. That's reference to an old meet I did years ago, so someone will know that. They're yeah. doing pixelated images? Yeah, because I got told it was a secret meet and no one knew about it, so I pixelised all their pictures. <laughs> so it was very secret. So, but no, we're off somewhere else, I don't know where. I'm following Max. Yeah. It's following the Mopar. I'm Hopefully following it don't the break Mopar. down. It's a Mopar, we'll see. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> we should be fine, but hope you have enjoyed the video. Until next time, see you all Bye. soon. Bye.